Good morning students. Welcome to Code to Enhance Learning Beginners Web Development video series. In this series, we are learning about web development so that we can create our own web page and express and solve our problems. So today we will be continuing with our first theme that is things around me. You may have a little trouble relating to this video if you haven't watched our first video of this series. So I will provide the link to our previous video in the description below. Now let's move on with our today's exciting lesson. In this theme of things around me, we are going to make a web page to express about some unique things around us with the world. I want to make a web page showing three places around me which I like the most. Similarly, you are going to make a web page about something that you like the most. So in every lesson, I am showing some skills or concept which will help you to make the final web page of this theme. In last lesson, we learned about some tools, wrote one program to show an alert box, learned about web page structure and tags. We also made a rough draft in the notebook to abstract the important details of how the page would look like. In today's lesson, we will make the basic draft of our first web page to share three things around me by writing basic tags in the computer. Seems exciting, right? This is how our web page would look like finally by the end of today's lesson. Now we can continue with our video. To make a web page, it would be nice to know about the three tags which are generally used to make the web page and we will also be using it in today's lesson. The div tag or the division tag, h tag or the heading tag, and the p tag or the paragraph tag. The div tag. The div tag defines a division or a section in the HTML document. The div tag is often used as a container for other HTML elements. As you all can already see in the example given over here, the area marked in blue is created by a div tag. A div tag in simple word is used to group the elements of the same subjects together. For example, here we have used the div tags to group the information related to the three places around us in separate divisions. Heading tag or the h1 to h6 tags. The heading tags are used in HTML headings. h1 tags define the most important heading whereas the h6 tags defines the least important heading. As you can see again in the given example, the test three places is written using h1 tag and the name of the places on top of each division is written using the h6 tag. p tag or the paragraph tag. The paragraph tag defines a paragraph. As you can once again see in the example given beside, the description of the places below the headings are created using a paragraph tag. So now we have opened our Visual Studio Code app to make our web page by all the tags we have learned so far. Let me first write our head and the body tag. So now we are going to write the main heading of the page using the h1 tag and it goes somewhere like this h1 three places to visit in Ahmedabad. Okay so now that we are done with our h1 tag we will move on with our div tags. We will initiate three div tags like this. Inside each div tags, we will be writing separate h3 tags for the name of the places. Once we are done writing the h3 tags, we are going to write the paragraph tags which will contain the description about the places.
Now I am done creating the structure. Now let me quickly write the descriptions and the name of the places. So now we are done with our tags and the, and the total code. You can pause the video here and see through the code. So now we can right click on the name of the file and select open with live server. So this is what our web page looks right now. The top heading is created by our h1 tag. The subheading that contains the name of the places is created by h3 tag and the consecutive detail about those places is created by a paragraph tag. Now what I want you to do is pause the video right here and make a web page about some unique things around you using the draft that you have earlier created in your notebook. It could be about food, books that you often read, people, plant, clothes, cartoons and some problem in your area anything that you would like. So we are in the end of the lesson. By now you must be in a position to solve these questions. So here goes the first question for you. Okay so I hope you have guessed it correctly. The right answer is option B that is the H1 tag. Moving on to the next question. So here goes the last question of the day. Yeah, you guessed the answer right. It's option C. That is, it's within the P tag. So I'm Nisha from Code to Enhance Learning, signing off for today. Hope to see you in the next video of our Beginners Web Development video series. Thank you.